Well, I've got myself a new acquisition now for my camping setup. It's the King's Premium Potbelly Stove. And it's a little bit bigger than the previous one I had. It's a little bit thicker in steel. Um, as you can see, these legs here, there's two pieces. You can see the um, thing there that's screwed together and you've got that bit there. That bit there is to lift off um, this part here, which I'm gonna just lift off with my hand. So you can see the door in there. That goes on the front. It's got these lovely little things here which let the air flow in. So that's a lot better than the um, open the door a bit. So I'm hoping that works a lot better. And you can see the stove pipes in there as well. Everything would fit in here, including these legs if you wanted to screw them. But um, I decided to um, leave them screwed up, screwed together, sorry, and store them in my trailer. The best bit about it is got this bit here and this bit here is um, perfectly designed so that you can have your pot belly stove underneath your awning and the uh, smoke going outside so anyway let's get it set up and see what it looks like Okay, now I've set it up and I had to actually change the uh, flue pipe down a bit so it wasn't too close to it, but I think that's still clearing it quite easily. And um, I had to dig a couple of holes there to get it level. So it's a lot sturdier than the other one. And inside there you can see there's a grate, put your fire on. So you get a nice airflow going, and you can see the holes there. And you can control the um, airflow going through by sliding these two little plates across. I think that's a lot better than the last one. So anyway, I'm going to get it going and uh, see what it goes like. Okay, I've got the uh, top off and stuffed a heap of wood in there. I think that's the best way of getting it going. Um, then when you need the hot plate, you can just put it on. It comes with this lovely little silver hook that you can see at the top of it. And that's perfect for um, just lifting that top off. Okay, well I've had it running for about an hour now and um, just first impressions. I will give a final um, result after the three nights I've had here. So far it's working great. I love the aspect that I can take the top off to get the wood in. It makes it a lot easier to get it in. It seems to be burning quite well now. So what I'm going to do now is grab hold of this thing here and I'm going to put the top on which is not going to fit that well because I've got a piece of bark there but there we go and I'm going to see how that goes so I might report back in about another hour or so because it's about time to start cooking dinner and we'll see how that goes Okay, uh, yeah, another further update on the uh, King's Premium Potbelly Stove. Smokes a lot out of the top, and I, I don't blame it for that. I think that's got to do with um, how the wood is burning. 
Uh, at the moment, I just haven't got enough heat into it. Um, but it is doing a great job. If you've got that shut and you haven't got a great fire in there, it's going to smoke like crazy. So I would recommend until you get a good fire going in there, you keep the door open. It's got enough space there for my kettle, big kettle, which is what I use for my showers, my pasta and a fry pan. I could probably put another saucepan or a fry pan in there if need be. Um, but so far, I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, the thing about it is that uh, it was $189 delivered to me. I got a special deal with free delivery. Sadly, I'd love to buy Australian, but they cost over $300. And I can't say in my mind that they do any better than this. But I will give a final summary tomorrow on what I think of the King's Premium Stove. Pot belly, sorry. Okay, well, I'm going to give my final thoughts after two nights of using the uh, pot belly stove, the King's Premium Pot Belly Stove. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the last one, but is it worth it? Yeah, it is. The door is great, uh, and I love the little grill, the um, vents here on the front. The only thing is you have to have it hot before you even open them. So most of the time you'll have it open. The other aspect that I like is the fact that I can take this off and on. So if I want the fire to get going, I can take, sorry, I can take that off and on, and um, it's really good. I'll take that off because we're still getting it going. The other aspect that I like is up here, the bend. The bend here. That I can get outside my awning, but still have the hot plate underneath, not the hot plate, but the whole camp oven or the pot belly underneath the actual awning. So I would recommend it. Um, this is something that I've bought off my own bat. I am not sponsored or I didn't get it paid for by Kings. I've had some Kings products. You can see on my video uh, reviews of certain things. Uh, the Kings awning 270 degrees, which is on my caravan, still works. Still great. And I've still got the Kings solar panel on, the, on in, in this camper trailer. But the Kings fridge is a different thing. So, yes, I totally recommend this. Uh, a little bit more to set up. But uh, yeah, no, it's a great little stove, great for cooking on. So anyway, check out my other videos on reviews and check out my other videos on camping. And I um, hope you enjoy and hope you get some information out of this.